Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making some Liberian cabbage. One of my subscribers wanted on my channel to look for it and couldn't find it, so I said I'll do it. So this is the cabbage right here. I will be putting in habanero pepper and some yellow onions. I have tomato paste. I have some chicken. Yeah, I have some smoked pork. I've already boiled it and I just cut it up. I have some shrimp. I've deveined it and I don't like to see those little creepy crawly stuff in the middle so I always take mine off and I left the shell on it. I have some complete sazon seasoning. I have kosher salt. I have Vita cubes, two of them. And chicken nor seasoning. In my pot right here, I have chicken feet. You can get good collagen from it. I have pig feet, I have beef, and I also have chicken in here. So let's start with my cabbage. Okay, let's cut this cabbage. cut it in half and I'm going to cut it again this core in here we're going to be taking it out but let me cut this again in the middle I have a bowl right here with water and I'm gonna put my cabbage in there. We know that cabbage grow on the ground and even though you wash it, the outer layer, you don't know if there's dirt still in between these layers. So I will put it in my water and I will soak it for about 30 minutes. I'll take it back to my sink and run it under the water again to make sure if there's any sand or bugs, I get it out. So these pieces of chicken, I'm going to fry them. I'm going to put some chicken nor seasoning. Some complete sazon seasoning. And some kosher salt. I'm going to mix that in. Yeah, my cup for my neutral bullet. I'm gonna put all my habanero pepper in there. My yellow onion. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there to help it to blend. You can use water or oil. I'm using oil. I'm gonna put some complete Sazon seasoning. I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes and I'll be back. It's been 10 minutes. I'm going to pour some water in there. Cover it and let it continue to cook. Okay, I've done my cabbage. You can cut it any size you want, but I'll show you how I like to cut mine. This is the size I like to cut mine. I'm going to cut all of it and I'll be back. I've cut up all my cabbage. Let's go to the stove. I have a pot and I'm going to put some oil and we're going to start frying the cabbage. It's time for me to put my cabbage in there. Okay. 
add some more cabbage. It's going to cook down because cabbage has a lot of water. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for 10 minutes and I'll be back. It's been 10 minutes. I've been frying. I turn it down to low medium. And now I'm going to add my onions and my pepper mixture. Mix that in. Cover it and let it continue to cook. It's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna add my tomato paste. Cover it and let it continue to cook. That's the oil on, and it's time to fry my chicken. Okay, it's time to start turning my chicken on the other side. And let that side fry also. Okay, it's time to take my chicken out. Next thing, I'm going to fry my smoked pork. I have already pre-cooked it and had it in my freezer. If I hadn't done that, we have put it in the meat when it was cooking. So I'm just going to fry it, take it out, fry the shrimp, and it will move back to my cabbage. I'm going to take out the smoked pork. And if you're looking for it in the grocery store, here they have it as pork jaw, J-O-W-L. Now it's time to put in my shrimp. Now it's time to take it out. We just change the color. Just a few seconds. So it's been 20 minutes since I put the tomato paste and the water from the meat. I'm going to pour it in there. And 
I'm also going to add the meats that I boiled. And I'm going to let that cook down. I've been cooking it for 20 minutes. And now all the things that I fried, I'm just going to dump it in there. Mix it up. For 5 minutes. And my food will be ready. I'm just going to coat it that off. My Liberian fried cabbage is ready. If you haven't tried it, you should give it a go. It has the right amount of seasoning. Make sure you season it well. And when you throw in some Vita cubes, it takes it to another level. So let me plate my food. I made some rice. And I'm going to plate my food and I'll be right back. I've plated my food and I'm ready to eat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified. Bye bye.